I'm going to show you how you can use the Tom Simulator to create a simple program. This is the main screen of the Tom, and here we have the memory locations from address 0 through to address 79. At each address is a high word and a low word. The high word will contain the instruction, and the low word will contain the data on which it operates. There's a program counter here which will keep track of where the program is executing, and the main register of the computer is the accumulator, which is here. So we'll start with load accumulator. We can disassemble that to see the mnemonic using that option. And I'm going to load it with whatever is in location 16. In location 16, I'm going to put the number 9. Now I'm going to do a simple loop that will output the numbers from 9 down to 1. So the next instruction I'll put in is an output instruction, which will simply output to this area over on the right. I'll then decrement the value by 1. It's accumulator minus, and that will operate on whatever's in the memory address 17. So into 17 I'll put the number 1, so that the number gets decremented by 1. I'll then test if, I've, if the number's got down to 0 by using a jump on 0, and if it has, I'll go to location 10, and in 10 I'll put a halt. Now to get back to the loop part, what we want is an unconditional jump that will take us back to our output statement. That's instruction number 7 and we want to jump back to 1. I can now run the program by clicking on run and you can see it outputted the numbers. I can reset the program counter by clicking on that and now I can single step through my program like this. And The importance is you can see the flow of control very very easily and see what your program is doing and that is obviously a huge advantage when you do more complicated programs. I'll show you a more complicated program is one that calculates a factorial using uh, recursion. I'll disassemble it. And basically this needs to keep a stack of return addresses. And you'll see that stack growing here. This is where the data for the uh, calculation is here. So if I put in 6, that's quite a high number to ca calculate factorial from. And what you'll see is the, the stack grow, the return stack grow as this runs. and you can see the program going back. Well, there's quite a lot more that you can do than that. So you've got some options here which allow you to display more registers, a stack pointer register. You've got a this uh, keyboard for creating interrupts and you can process interrupts. And you've got the means to do memory mapped output using this area here. And you can see that, in fact, because it's part of the actual memory that there is some corruption here which is what happens with a, a real computer one area can overrun another and cause this kind of corruption okay there's this is just the main tom screen there's also a uh, an underlying machine screen that shows you how all these instructions are executed and i'll describe that in another video okay